said in several ways. He was up here and he had to go back down. And so I said, well, I'll, I'll let you say your name, introduce yourself. But he is the founder and CEO of uh, 5WPR. And if you have to ask what the W's are, it will be a question and answer time. Um, So my name is Ron Tarosi and I'm the CEO of 5WPR. We are uh, one of the 25 largest PR firms in the country, thank God. Um, and I'm a Brooklyn boy, although I grew up in the Bronx. Uh, but a product of the uh, good old New York City public school system. Um, so, you know, in terms of a little background on our firm, so one of the 25 largest firms, we've represented celebrities, technology companies, big companies, small companies, and everything in between. Um, I just wrote a book called Four Media Release, and the concept is really about using publicity, using PR to build your brand. Um, if a tree falls in the forest and no one hears it, it doesn't really make a sound. So PR offers an incredible chance to leverage your strengths and to build your brand and to create noise and all those other sorts of things. Um, you know, PR really works off of, and media works off of two cycles, okay? One is proactive and the other is reactive. So reactive is every single year you can take a guess what the stories are on February 14th. And you can take a guess that come Easter and come Passover and come Mother's Day, the media is looking for an angle that's different about Passover or Easter or Mother's Day or all the rest. The reactive of which, the proactive of which Brooklyn does a good job are things like the Coney Island, um, when they go in the water there, the uh, polar bear or the Nathan's you know, eating contest and uh, hot dog eating contest and these sorts of things. Um, public relations and using the media is something that you can use, very low fee, um, to really create and to build your brand. So I'll give you a few things that we've done that have worked for a brand. So we represent a hotel called the Buckingham Hotel. It's a small 100 room hotel on 57th and 6th. It is across the, hall, uh, across the street from Carnegie Hall. But it's a simple hotel. Okay, in a world controlled by Sheridans and Marriott's and Ritz Carlton's and all the rest. 100 room hotel, no gym, no room service, nothing, oh my God, to jump up and down for. Um, the day that, and it's a few years ago, if you all remember, everybody loves airlines, right? Isn't it a pleasant experience to fly? <laughs> Awful, exactly. So, you know, the day that the airlines announced that they weren't gonna be serving food on the planes anymore, we walked two blocks away and we said to Carnegie Deli, would you like to do a doggy bag package with us? So when you check out of the Buckingham Hotel, you get a doggy bag from Carnegie Deli, right? And therefore you can bring your food on the plane with you. So the grand total of the cost to that to Buckingham Hotel was zero. And the grand total of the cost to Carnegie Deli was zero. But it's a natural story for the media to jump up on New York City Hotel introduces doggy bags for everybody checking out of the hotel who's going to get on a plane. We were in 300 newspapers the next day. We were on every national TV station. Oh my goodness, airlines are, you know, mistreating passengers, which of course everybody loves to mess airlines, as they should. Um, but the, the doggy bag concept was a simple, easy concept to get in here. Um, the same hotel has a phenomenal, beautiful suite. Okay, 2,000 2, square foot suite with great views of, part, of Central Park. But remember, they're not the Four Seasons, they're not the Ritz Carlton, they're a normal, nice hotel, but nothing, oh my goodness. The day before Valentine's Day last year, two years ago, um, we created a $150,000 Valentine's special, Valentine's package, where we pick you up anywhere in the country with a G4, and we cater a meal to your room with a chef from Nobu, and of course you'd get that room. So guess how many people bought the package? You got it? Nobody. But it was on the front page of the Daily News, it was on the front page of, the USA, of USA Today. It was over 100 million media impressions for a beautiful suite. But again, not a suite at the Four Seasons or the Ritz Carlton or oh my goodness, oh my goodness. A simple, easy idea. Again, responding to the concept of Valentine's Day, so everybody wants to do great things for their lovers, and everybody wants to do great things for their sweethearts, therefore a great, cute story. 